Hi, I'm going to talk briefly in this video about why it's so important to use a secure proxy uh, to secure your connection when you're online. Now, a proxy server, as you possibly know, um, sits in between you and your and the web server that you visit. Um, basically, in this illustration, your computer is here, maybe computer A. It sends a request, any request to the proxy, which then forwards it onto the web server. Web server takes that request, processes it, sends it back to the proxy server, and then returns it to the client, i.e. you. Um, this is great for um, shielding your location from the web server. Um, the website you visit has no knowledge of you, just of the proxy server. It only deals with the proxy server. Now, people commonly use this for um, hiding their IP address. Um, so that if you're in the UK and your proxy server happens to be in the US, the web server will think you're in the US as well. So people will use them for accessing block content, things like accessing uh, Hulu outside the US, or if they're trying to access BBC iPlayer and they're not in the UK, just use a British proxy server. Great. Commonly used. No problem with that. The difficulty is, proxy server, you are trusting a lot of your data with this server, and it's very important that it's secure. Now, this is why I'm so hesitant when I see people using free proxy servers online. The problem is, a large majority of these are hacked servers. They're either hacked or misconfigured, and you're sending all your data across to this proxy server. Okay? Now, in some cases, it might not matter. Um, if you're just streaming a video in it and you turn it on and off as you um, need it, fine. But if you use any sort of normal web browsing through it or you forget to turn it off, you're putting yourself in a very, very vulnerable position. The proxy server owner knows all about your connection and all your data actually transfers through his computer. Okay, but let's take an example here. Um, say I'm logging on to something like... Um, PayPal. Now you might argue PayPal and all major sites where you need to log on use something called SSL which is a secure socket layer. This means that the um, connection between your client and the, the server you're talking to is encrypted and hence secure. That's right up to a point but the problem is when you're using a, um, a proxy server you're handing all your data on a plate to this um, this the administrator or the owner or anybody with admin rights on that server <coughs> excuse me and that makes it very vulnerable so your login and your details might be encrypted between you and PayPal or eBay or Gmail or whatever but there are technologies where that can intercept this and um, access your account details, your passwords, anything you put in there, completely decrypt it. I'm going to show you briefly a program, uh, a company called Commodia, who um, have a program called Commodia SSL Digester. Now this is an incredible little program and you can download a free trial. I think you have to contact them and they'll give you a two week free trial. But what it basically can do is hijack any SSL thread and decrypt all your data on the fly. So if you're logging in through PayPal or logging into an account or your email or anything through a proxy server or, in fact, any um, intermediate device, they can decrypt everything in your um, connection. So, for example, I've run this and I've logged into PayPal before and this is what I did. This is a, a Commodia's SSL sniffer. And when I ran this, it actually took my login. I'm, I've deleted it here, but I hope you can see it. Um, it showed me my login details and password in complete clear text. This was my PayPal login. Completely unsecure, and they could have cleaned, anybody could have cleaned my bank account out. They're both linked to debit and credit cards. Very, very bad news. Please be very, very careful using any proxy servers online. Um, especially free ones. I mean, I would say don't use them, but hey, cash is short sometimes. I want to show you quickly something about how Identity Cloaker, um, which is my security tool of choice. Um, on this channel, I talk about it a lot, about accessing sites like BBC and Hulu and whatever, stuff like that. 
Um, but it is primarily a security product. Um, I use it because it's secure. It's also got all the fastest servers that, that the the network admins are top notch, so they know what they're doing. Um, but I say security is primary function for it. In this server, you've you've got all the different proxy servers there. They delete all the data. They don't log anything, so none of your data is stored on their servers. Um, they also it's got some features that you can use if you're just using it for. Um, uh, to secure your connection in a hotel or uh, uh, unsecure Wi-Fi, somewhere like that. You can actually use it here. You can say, you can tell it to switch proxies every one or two minutes. So that means you're, not only is your connection secure, it's encrypted, but it also switches between alternate servers every one minute, if you like. Um, you can also set, change the levels of, secu of encryption there. So if you're streaming... Um, video it's no point um, encrypting it there and you turn it down to none here or switch it on to the maximum and say and configure that this makes your whole connection much much more secure hey it's probably not that important if you're just using it to watch Hulu Pandora or some media site but you can also use it for um, accessing your bank accounts and keeping your connection secure where it's much more important um, one of the other quick settings I want to show you in Identicloaker is you can get it to turn on and only work with specific applications. So you can specify that one of your browsers is encrypted uh, and cloaked. So you could have maybe use Google, Google Chrome to access BBC iPlayer. You could have um, and then Firefox to use your normal browsing, something like that. You can also use it to um, encrypt your messaging clients, your email. You can encrypt specifically your email clients when you're uh, sending it through. And you can tell it to either encrypt or not encrypt um, different media centers. You can also, if you use any um, custom applications, you can add it here and um, make sure that anything you're communicating using that application is encrypted as well. Or just cloak everything. Okay, um, I'm going to leave it there now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this um, video about Secure Proxy and why it's so important.